Shri Math Bhagavad Gita Responsible Leadership in Gita by Shri Narayana Presentation prepared by Kilavolt Ramanamurthy When I met first time our Puja Guruji SHG Narayana I heard the quotations like supervision means supervision Visionary conceives the impossible, missionary makes it possible While we are all in supervision and as missionaries in this assignment to realize the Vision of our respected chairman, possible, my search to attain the competency, and also to stand to the expectations, driven me to read and develop this presentation from the book published by Foundation for Integral Management, Bombay. This is to fulfill the wish of S.H. Swami Jidit Manada towards wide circulation, I sincerely tried in my small attempt with the help of my sons in my home PC to present this to my interested associates and colleagues. K. V. Ramana Murthy Shri Math Bhagavad Gita Offering These thoughts are dedicated to Shri Vidya Prakashananda Giri Swami J.I. whose book Gita Makarandam gave me insight into the message of the Gita. Shri G. Narayana Forward Responsible Leadership in Gita The latest work of Shri G. Dadnayarana, the well-known management expert in India, will impress many readers somewhat like a revelation, what has the Jeet to do with leadership and management? The interpretation of Sri G. Narayana will at one convince us that Vedanta is practical. It is meant for practical application in life in order to succeed and excel in our work. Swami Vivekananda said, the Vedanta, therefore, as a religion must be intensely practical. We must be sure to carry it out in every part of our lives. This fictitious differentiation between religion and the life of the world must vanish, for the Vedanta teaches oneness, one life throughout. When we come to the Bhagavad Gita most of you, perhaps, have read it, it is the best commentary we have on Vedanta philosophy curiously enough the scene is laid on the battlefield, where Krishna teaches this philosophy to Arjuna, and the doctrine which stands out luminously in every page of the Gita is intense activity, but in the midst of it, eternal calmness. Complete Works of Swami Vivekananda Volume 2 Page 291 This book of Sri Narayana is an exploration of the ideas given by Swami Vivekananda. In the various verses of the Gita the author finds intensely practical messages for the leaders in management in celebrated verse Klabium Masma Gamma Partha the author reads an extremely important message for leaders in crisis. Encouraging Leadership Klaibhyam Masmagam Apartha Naitatvai Upapadhyate Shudram Hridaya Dorbalyam Yatvotesha Parantapa Yield not, Partha, to weakness. This, it is not fit to be feeble like this. Weakness of heart is low, unwise, terror of enemies. Get up and rise. Encouraging Leadership When an achiever and contributor is overcome by weakness because of the grave situation, the responsible leader reminds the achiever in distress about his real inner strength and points out the impracticality of exhibiting weakness in critical situations. Thus, he arrests the tendency to give up. The responsible leader boosts the morale of the members of the team and encourages and inspires them to get up and rise to the occasion. By his own undaunted courage, in the face of crisis and chaos, the exemplary leader converts the potential losers to certain winners by indication the path to recovery and victory. Encouragement energizes even during depression. Present Reality Shri Bhagavan Vacha Asochyanan Vashochasvam Pradhyavadanscha Bhashase you grieve for which none should grieve on the top of that logic, you grieve. For those who left and did not leave. See my friend. Wise never grieve. Present reality. When a team member is in distress, he escapes into either past or future by grieving and worrying about what has happened or what has not happened. Then, the responsible leader brings the member into present reality. Usually the worry is caused by the logic and beliefs of the person concerned and the 
Responsible leader takes the member to the reality beyond the logic and reasoning and helps him to be wise to face the present situation and find the solutions. Accepting what has happened and not worrying about what has not happened is wisdom. Mutual support. Devan bhavayatanena Te deva bhavayam tuvaha Parasparam bhavayam taha Shreya parama vapsyatha Let the divine wish you well. Let you wish the divine well. Mutually wish you each other well. Reap then best and you live well. Mutual support. Mutual acceptance, support, goodwill and endeavor are the hallmarks of responsible. Leadership. Sharing and caring amongst all the interacting groups ensures continued overall well-being. It is essential that a successful team and successful achievers remember those who blessed and supported them for the success of their efforts and express their gratefulness to them. When success comes, sharing not only the fruits of success but also the credit for success lifts any success to the level of divine success. When the team and team members include all the interacting groups in their progress the progress becomes overall growth and enrichment. Progress and prosperity multiply and there will be a plenty and harmony. Give and receive. How behaves the best of men? So behave the rest of men. His example, they will show. Saying he did so. We do so. Leadership by example. People follow the example of the best leaders. The behavior, conduct and practice of the leaders influence the behavior of people. Therefore people at leadership have great responsibility and duty to behave in the best. Manner, they have to set examples and standards, so that the members of their team are inspired in the right direction. Thus inspired, they will take the path of the best conduct and achievement and will become responsible leaders in their own right. A good leader assists the development of more good leaders. On the other hand, when people in leading positions behave in unfit or improper manner, the people observing them will take up their incorrect practices and also openly express that. They are just following the examples set by the leader. So the leaders have to do their best to receive the same. Excellence begets more excellence. Leadership is showing the way by one's own example. Working leader. Name partha se kartavyam Trishuloke shukinjana Nana vapta mavattavyam Varta eva chakarmani Partha. For me in three worlds. There are no pending works. None to attain and none to do. Still the works, I always do. Working leader. A responsible leader continuously engages himself in work. Work is the medium through which a leader can communicate about the importance of discharging one's responsibility. A responsible leader continues to contribute even after he lifts the work to the leave of contribution and offering. Just doing what is assigned is duty. That must be done. Doing what is required by the situation is contribution. That is an opportunity to add value. Doing what will help others to complete their work in a better way as an offering. This is the divine service. An exemplary leader does everything he can without being required to do so. A leader's sign is his own work. Gentle teacher. Do not disturb the ignorant one who does the work with attachment can show him way, intelligent one, by doing well with detachment. 
Gentle teacher. An intelligent and wise leader does the work well without being concerned about his benefit. The work itself is a joyful journey for him. He is not concerned about his own gains or even the credit for the work. Work done in that way is an offering to society. However there are many people who do the work with expectation of gains or credit. An intelligent leader does not disturb them by reprimands or by preaching but gradually and gently takes them to the path of noble contributions by his own example of contributory. Work a work becomes contribution and detached work when one is ready to share the fruits of the work. Thus a leader who cares always shares. Sharing and caring is the way of all wise and gentle leaders. The intelligent gently lifts the ignorant through persuasion. Chaos and emerging leadership. Yada yada hi dharmasya Glanir bhavati bharata Abhyutana ma dharmasya Sadatmanam prujam yaham Whenever wherever the right is harmed, whenever wherever the wrong is formed, when wrong is up and right is down. Then, Arata. I come on my own. Chaos and emerging leadership. When right is down and wrong is up, it is chaos. During chaos, order is destroyed and disorder is on the rise and rise. During chaos a responsible leader emerges on his own initiative. During chaos nobody delegates but one person takes up total responsibility to remove the wrong and re-establish right. This, he does on his own initiative. Thus during chaos an emerging leader is self-created. Once responsible leadership emerges all the positive forces will rally round it and gain strength rapidly. Initiative is the key in chaos. In chaos a leader emerges through taking responsibility. Establishing right. Paritranaya sadhunam Vinashaya chadushkritam Dharma samsthapanarthaya Sambhavami yuge yuge To protect the good and right men. To destroy the evil and wrong men. To establish the right at each stage. I occur at right time, age by age. Establishing right. Completely removing the evil and protecting the right way is the mission of responsible leadership. Establishment of a protecting and supporting atmosphere is the purpose of dutiful leadership. From time to time, any situation deteriorates and good system become ineffective or of unharmful. Due to wrong practices. At that point, when things seem to be boiling, a courageous leader stands up from nowhere and takes the positive active, timely effective approach of Now, here, in this situation, I and I alone shall take the responsibility to remove the evil practices and to establish right practices. Such an emerging, path-making leader is the divine leader and he creates a field of energy and things start occurring in the right manner. A responsible leader corrects wrong and protects right. Knowledge fire. Yasya sarve samarambha Kama sankalpa varjita Jnana agni dagdha karmanam Tamaho panditam buddha Knowledge fire. One who starts all his works, completely free from all desires, in fire knowledge are treated whose works he is called as learned by seers. A responsible leader undertakes and completes appropriate works and assignments for the overall benefit and does not consider his own returns at the beginning. Whatever comes to him as gains is through the sharing of the outcome of the works undertaken. He gains because of his work but does not work for gains. When one undertakes any work because of the interest in the results the concentration will be diverted from overall mission to practical and incomplete purpose of individual gains. The responsible leader understands the supremacy of an overall and holistic approach because he not only knows how works are to be accomplished but also knows why particular works are to be completed. He knows what is to be done, why it is to be done and how it is to be done. 
He knows that is management science and that know-how is technology. A responsible leader optimally integrates management, science and technology because all his work are tempered by the fire of thought contemplation and knowledge. With deep thought and knowledge-oriented approach the responsible leader finder finds out the better way. When work is he treated in knowledge it is enriching work learning. Knowledge Fire You may know that from seeing one's knowledgeable and serving ones by approaching and serving them and with respect inquiring them. A responsible leader undertakes and completes appropriate works and assignments for the overall benefit and does not consider his own returns at the beginning. Whatever comes to him as gains is through the sharing of the outcome of the works undertaken. He gains because of his work but does not work for gains. When one undertakes any work because of the interest in the results the concentration will be diverted from. Overall Mission To practical and incomplete purpose of individual gains. The responsible leader understands the supremacy of an overall and holistic approach. Because he not only knows how works are to be accomplished but also knows why particular works are to be completed. He knows what is to be done, why it is to be done and how it is to be done. He knows that is management science and that know-how is technology. A responsible leader optimally integrates management, science and technology because all his work are tempered by the fire of thought contemplation and knowledge. With deep thought and knowledge-oriented approach the responsible leader finder finds out the better way. When work is he treated in knowledge it is enriching work devoted master.